morning, 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 sunshines. Well, it's time to get to work. We'll see. I think Jimmy's got the place up already. Oh, shoot. We're a little late to work. We better get going. We better get going. Okay. Um. Shoot. How do I get in my own house? There we go. We'll head down the hill. Okay. Oh, shoot. Can I get through the doorway? Oh, man. I'm too fat to get through the doorway. What the heck? There we go. Make it down the stairs. Nice, dude. I've always, I always wanted to start in houses a lot more in my videos, so that's what we're doing, guys. Here we go. Rolling Colt Customs. Another day, another dollar. We'll open up the door, and then I got to show you guys some trucks I got for sale. Jimmy should have them out ready for uh, the customers as they go by the road, so we'll head down there, and we'll check them out. We got the Daily Driver 2015 F-150, and as always... Oh, shoot. Wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> and as always, dude, we have... Oh, shoot. Wrong tree. There we go. We'll go around the tree. As always, we have... Uh, Lopez is landscaping with the with the music to wake me up. Man, doesn't that just piss you off? Okay, we will go to the right. We'll take a left. There we go. And then the shop's looking nice. Shop's looking nice over here. We'll head all the way down here, and we should be... Uh, oh, shoot. There we go. We'll enter the back way. We'll enter the employee way through here. Oh, yes. He has him out already. Sweet. There we go. Okay. We'll take a left in here. I gotta use my blinker. There we go. Nice. Dude, I should get pulled over in the morning. I should do a video where I get pulled over in the morning or something. And then just police chase go off okay so for now i'm going to shoot where should i put my truck okay for now i'm going to put in the maybe i probably shouldn't put it in the shed we'll just park it uh back behind the shop there and then we'll head in the office see what's all up oh that's right i totally forgot so gavin said gavin the creator of this map which some guy i saw on facebook was one this map so i'm i'm thinking i'll just give it out to you guys i think i can like just the edit of this map so yeah i could easily give this out to you guys but um gavin said he put something on the computer let me let me check this out or you guys check this out. I guess I haven't seen it either. I think he put something on the... What did he put? I think he put my channel. Oh, yeah. He's got the squad logo. There we go. Nice. And the other... The other's still the same, but he's got the squad logo on the laptop there. Nice. And then we got FS19 over there. Okay. So, I'm going to open up this door and let me show you guys what I have... What, what vehicles I have out here and what I have listed at. We're getting some hot rods today also. I'm thinking. For the shop. Just to keep around. But, these are the three vehicles I'm selling right now. I'm continuing... I'm... I'm considering selling uh, old, old Glory, Old Glory, over here. So I don't know if we should sell Old Glory, but I've been, I, dude, I almost called Old Glory Little Blue. I was like, I'm considering selling Little Blue. I was like, no, it's not Little Blue. Little Blue's my tractor, but we're considering selling Old Glory. Do you guys think I should sell it or not, or just keep it like for personal use, just keep it in storage? But the three trucks I have out here, you can see my uh, my new mowers and stuff we have out there. But the three trucks we have is. The Chevy Chevy Dooley. Dude, last time I said Dodge Dooley, I think. I'm pretty sure I said Dodge Dooley last time. Yeah, uh, but yeah, anyways, it's a Chevy, Chevy Dooley. You, dude, you guys know. You guys know I know. You guys know I know, but you guys know I... I don't know. I just always say the wrong stuff, I guess, sometimes. Um, But anyways, we have the Chevy Dooley here. The Duramax. It, does that say Vortec? No, it says Chevrolet up there. Okay, okay. That's a little weird. Okay, that's definitely not how it goes. Usually it has like a Duramax logo. Or sometimes up here it'll have a... Uh, a Vortec logo. Vortex is their gas engine. Duramax is their diesel engine. But I'm thinking 2012, it's only got 35K miles on it. And it's got airbags. So we're going to list this one around 40K. I know you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, squad. Oh my gosh, man. That is way too much money for that. But that's what I'm thinking with airbags. It costs us 10 grand alone to install airbags. And this only has 20K miles. So, dude, it's, uh, I think, that, I don't know. Would you guys say, would you guys say that's reasonable? 20K or 40K for the Duramax? And then the Cummins, I'm thinking with the lift, with the big tires, it's only got 60,000 miles. I'm thinking the Cummins will go, we could we could charge 22K. 22K, is that reasonable? 60K miles on second gen? Everything looks nice, no rust? I'm thinking, six, uh, I'm, or I'm thinking 20K. 20K, is that doable? I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, let me know on these prices, guys. What are you guys thinking for the prices on these? Tell me all three of your prices. So tell me. What you guys want the Duramax to be? Tell me what you want the Cummins to be, and tell me what you want this Duramax to be. Um, the Cat Eye. Okay, the Cat Eye. That's the thing. It's an 05. We did. It did already have the lift. It does have the drop axle exhaust, dude. I never noticed how long that exhaust is. Look, it just comes all the way down here, just straight pipe about down the back. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh man, this is tough. Okay, I wish I knew what parts cost a little more. I'm thinking we can price this one at roughly. Oh gosh, 27, 27k, 27k it has 90k miles on it. So 27k, would that be reasonable? That'd be reasonable. All these trucks have low miles. That's why I'm thinking about pricing Matt. Dude, we'll see. I could maybe like for a live stream or something, get some of you guys on here and you guys can come buy them because that's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna have some customers 
um, on here. And then, okay, it's time to go. Dude, trust me. I bought a new trailer. You guys got to see this. We're going to take the Pete over there. We're going to pick up some stuff. Che you got to check out the new trailer once we get her. Okay, we'll let the beat, beat warm up for a sec. We'll let that warm up, and then we should be going. Dude, I saw Pete the other day, like in real life, and it looked really low to the ground, and I was like, dang. Like right now, this isn't even lowered, is it? No, that's lowered, man. It was close to being like this. I was like, okay, nah, it wasn't that close. It was probably like right there or something. It was insane, though. I, I was surprised how lower it was. Usually, I expected them to be a lot higher. But, okay, so I was considering... For a live stream, for, for like the upcoming live stream, I was thinking, okay, tell me if you guys like this idea. So we have a car show. We have a car show because I'm picking up some hot rods and stuff. We have a car show. You guys can come on. We can all, you guys can even buy them or something if you want. But we'd have a car show with all of our cars lined up at Rolling Cold Customs. And you guys could come on. We'd make it multiplayer. So you guys could come on. We could talk about cars and stuff, you know. But I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think on that. Okay, we're it's time to hop in the beat. And get going down the road. By the way, if you're enjoying Rolling Cold Customs, smash that like button. I would appreciate that. Oh, shoot. There we go. We're going with the beat, dude. Okay, so here, here. I'll just tell you guys now. I got a matching trailer. I got a matching trailer that's like, it has, okay. Um, By the way, Expendables Modding, they're literally making like, here, let me turn the game volume down a little bit. But anyways, Expendables Modding is literally making like all these mods, guys. These guys are just going insane and they're all making them public. All you gotta do is join their group i'll have the link down below join their group and literally almost like almost almost every mod on here seems like it's from expendables modding like all these hot rods of mine this pete that trailer on mine oh, dude everything everything's coming from them so definitely go check out their facebook all you do, gotta do is answer a couple of questions and then you'll most likely be in the group and you can download all these mods so if you're looking for mod links just join expendables that's where most of them are so i got i think it's called a fontaine yeah, and it looks like a normal trailer, right? You see it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's just a normal trailer. Normal flatbed, you know? But, watch this. Check out the lighting on it, dude. I got light blue lights, and and it has it has ramps in the back. So I can load up trucks, I can load up whatever. Now, I was thinking of loading up cars. I was, dude, this is going to work so good with a beat. Um, Hunter made this. I'm, I'm pretty sure Hunter made this. I can't, I probably shouldn't say exactly, but I, I'm, I'm thinking it was Hunter that made this. Um, okay, it does have ramps. I know there's ramps somewhere. Oh, I think he said... I thought there was ramps. Maybe it's square bales? No. Oh, it can hold bales. That's right. That's right. Is it work position? What's work position? Oh, okay. What keypad is it? It's probably one of these back here. Nope. Do I have my blinker on? Shoot. Man, I forgot what key it is. I could probably go check quick and figure this out where the ramps are. Because I thought there were ramps on this because he had cars loaded up on it. There's got to be ramps on this. Pallets. Square bills. Maybe there aren't. Okay, so I hopped on Facebook quick and just asked Derek, which is uh, Hunter's partner, because I don't, I don't think Hunter was on at the time. But I asked Derek real quick how to do this. And oh my gosh, it said it right in the mod. Right in the mod description, too. I can't believe I didn't even see it, but thank you, Derek, for telling me quick. Okay, so what you do is you use left and right click. Watch the back end of this, guys. Watch the back end of this as this comes down. You can see it drops or it slides out. Oh, shoot. Oh, you got to do it like simultaneously. So you got to drop them down and slide out at the same time. Oh, oh, this is going to be perfect. Okay, right there. How low do we go? Is that good? Let me see if it slides out any further. That should be good. Good enough to get on there. Oh, shoot, dude. This might not be good for hot rods. It's only really going to be good for trucks, I think. Because, I mean, it's still a little bit off the ground. Hot rods, I feel like, you know, you're going to bottom out here. Definitely, you're going to bottom out. But we can still haul trucks on it. We got a lot of room to haul trucks. I could have also got the... What is it called? I could have got the... Oh, man. What is it called? The... Headache rack. I was thinking I probably should have got the headache rack. So that way something doesn't go flying off the front of it. Definitely should have got that. But... Check this out. So I want to load up something right now. I really want to load up something right now as we go. But also, and Nomad, here's Nomad Wolf's Cummins. Now, they just released this uh, right when he passed. I think somebody was on his account, uh, maybe a family member, and they just released this. So I also want to get this truck. It's a Cummins. It must, it must, it's got to be real nice. So it's a 1991 first gen. Let's see what we can all put on it. We want to get a snack hitch. Yes. 6-7 uh, Cummins in line 6. 
Yeah, just a nice inline six. Don't want something too crazy. Main color, I, I say we go like this. I say we go red, and I think this might have been a little white too on her. Was it that color? I want to basically match that color. I want to go stock. I love the stock one, so. Chrome black, all terrains. Dually wheels, black. Chrome rim, Goodyear. Okay, maybe we'll go that. Maybe you can't get these stock ones. Design color, should we? I, I, I love two-tone, especially for older trucks. I love two-tone, so I think we're going to go two-tone. Bed. We'll just go black toolbox and rack. Probably want a toolbox, steel toolbox. Oh man, there's so many different things to choose from. Steel toolbox, rack. We try that. Roof extras. Oh, roof light. Yes, you got to go roof lights. Bed extras, black toolbox, black headache. Um, we'll just go standard. We'll just go standard. Okay, we'll see what this gets us. We might do a, a, different, a couple of different changes. We'll see what this gets us. Oh, dude, this looks nice. And it's got the stock. Okay, it's got everything stock on it. I would have liked. Did I put a uh, two-tone? I tried putting a two-tone. It didn't come out, though. Oh, man. The sound, too. Oh, my gosh. It sounds amazing, too. What license plate does it have on it? Wisconsin. Wisconsin, dude. What do you guys think? Oh, my gosh. This is sweet. Okay, I'm going to hook it up to this trailer, actually. Okay, we're going to keep this around the shop. I got to keep it for Nomad Wolf. We got to keep it around, guys. In memory of Nomad Wolf. We have his semi, and now we have his truck here, too. Oh, man, dude. This is amazing. Look at this thing. And you guys can get this, by the way. I'll link you guys in Nomad Nomad's uh, Facebook page for this one. Okay, we'll shut the Cummins off, dude. I got to use it. I got to use it as a farm truck in my next series. Um. Okay, we need... Well, first of all, I guess I don't have any really trucks to load up here. You know what? I may I may uh, bring a couple stock trucks back, and then we'll do some adjustments on them, I'm thinking. But check this out. Now, I don't know my car is, like, insanely good, but I was thinking about buying the Porsche, too. I don't know if we're really – are we Porsche-type people rolling gold custom? Should we get a Porsche? Maybe we could. Business has been good lately. We could get a Porsche, you know? But we're going to get this 1957 Chevy. I wish I knew my models better because you guys are going to make fun of me the whole time. Let's just – I like going, like, how the – Let's just go black and black. Wait, is that? Okay. There's two different blacks. Okay. It's fine though. Okay. And then we'll go a Ford hot rod. 32. 1932. Should we go black? I don't know. We'll just go white. We'll see what happens with white. Oh, it is white. Okay. Maybe hot rod should be black. White's fine, I guess. And then we'll go uh, Nova. Uh, is this? The, no, Chevy Nova. Chevy Nova. Chevy Nova, right? Yes. Yes, dude. I, man, you guys are going to make fun of me so bad. I know it. I know it. We'll go white with that. I could go some crazy. T oh, yeah, we could go some decently crazy color with that, too. That would be sweet if we did that. And then, I don't even know what this mod is, but it's kind of cool that they put it in here. I'll go black. Oh, dude, light blue. Light blue. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, man. You guys are going to make fun of me so much for this. Okay. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, my gosh, dude. These are drag cars. We should drag race. We definitely got a drag race. Oh, they all have Rhode Island license plates. Nice. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I really feel like the Nova, we should put black. We should make this black. I feel like the Nova's got to be black. Let me know on any colors we got for these. Okay, so. Oh, dude, these are going to be loud. I know it. I know these guys are going to be loud. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I got to turn this down a little bit or something. Oh, dude, okay. There we go. Dude, these things are going to fly. I know it, dude. Okay, decent. Okay, 105 is the top speed on these things. So we, okay, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. We need a drag strip. We need a drag strip somewhere. Okay, we'll turn around quick. And then I'll load these. Okay, maybe, you know what? Maybe I could get them on the trailer. It's going to be a little tough. It may bottom out a little bit while I get them on the trailer. Some of these I'll get on the trailer. Oh, man. This just sounds sweet. Okay, I think I can get this one on the trailer because it's basically like a truck almost. Okay, El Camino. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Nice. Climb, climb. Do not bottom out. Shoot. We're stuck. Our drag bar. Can we raise the drag bar? I don't even know if that's a drag bar. The wheelie? The wheelie thing? Man, we're stuck. Oh, man. That was a bad idea trying to get that thing up there. Okay, we're going to have to fire up the peat. Move the peat a little bit. But, dude, that's going to match perfectly if we can get this off of here. Oh, my gosh, man. Okay, I was able to get it off of there. Now we got the Chevy Nova. Dude, let's see this thing go. It's probably going to be the exact same speed as the others. Because Derek, I think Derek made all these, and I bet he just threw the same. I bet he made them all the same speed. 
Oh, this is sweet though, too. Nice, dude. They should have a button. Oh my gosh, what if they had this? A button for like, is it nitrous? Nitrous? I don't know if you put these in cars, but, or yeah. But they should have a button for nitrous where you press that button and the car just instantly just takes off. Wouldn't that be cool, guys? Dude, that'd be so fun. Cops and robbers. Cops is about to catch it. Boom, just hit the button. Whatever, like hit N for nitrous or something. And then boom, the car just takes off. Oh man, that would be so cool. Okay, so for now, I'm going to load these up. I'll, I guess I could get in some other ones and test them out. But first, let's get them back there because, man, we got a lot of holding to do. Okay, we're going to use the Cummins. The Cummins. No Mad Wolf's Cummins. We're going to use the hauler back over there. Okay. I'm gonna get this and just line it up along here. Oh, it sounds sweet. This sounds amazing. This just sounds amazing, dude. I haven't heard this first gen come and sound like this. It sounds awesome. Okay, we're gonna get, ooh, okay, I wanna load up two cars at once, so I wanna get the smallest ones. So I don't even know the Chevy. I've never heard of this car even. That's funny, but Chevy EXP. I wish I was more of a muscle car guy. I wish I knew my car, in cars in general, I don't know as well as trucks or anything like that. I can spot them from miles away though. I can spot them way down the interstate and tell you guys what they are, but uh, I don't really know my old muscle cars too good. There we go. I think this will work, shoot. Can we do a burnout? Oh, okay, we can only go that far, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all this on. Shoot. I could try if any, okay, we'll try the hot rod. Dude, these cars are so loud, man. There we go, we'll turn that off, okay. Man, what car's on still? The hot rod? Oh, this one's got a little more power. It feels like. Maybe not. The interior, everything on this is just sweet. Okay, we'll turn around right here. Throw a quick Yui. There we go. I don't think we're going to be able... Oh, dude, did that drift? Did that drift? Did that just drift? Oh, dude. It gets a little slippery. Like, okay, you guys can't really tell it, but I can feel it. You can feel it when you're using it. Okay, you know what? We're just going to drive this straight to the shop. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. In control. Oh, this is sweet. No cop, no stop, baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, in the pool. There we go. We'll go around the pool. Oh, nice. Okay, should we put this out front just for, like, looks? We're not going to sell these. Maybe we'll sell them later. Okay, we'll drift into our driveway. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dude, it gets sideways. This thing gets sideways, man. Okay, we will... Should I just line them up for now? Out front right here? Or I should probably put them away. For now, I'll line them up out front. Okay, we need to... I don't know if we're going to be able to haul the, the other one over here, guys. I do not know if we're going to be able to haul. Can we get another one on there? I could try. The 1957 Chevy. I wish I knew what model this was. Like, this is farming similar. I always, like, I always come back to this and say this. This is farming similar, dude. And look at all the mods we have on here. It's insane. Okay. We'll load this up here. Keep going a little bit. I'm thinking that's good right there. Okay, what I can do now. Okay, this is gonna be a little weird. It's gonna be a little tricky. Oh, coming sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, man. It's like your mom saying dinner's ready, man. Like, you know, it's just oh, it's just glory. It's just it sounds amazing to the ears. Okay, we're gonna shoot. What I was trying to do here, I can I can maybe do this. Did I do it? No, 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 no. Okay. What I gotta do is I gotta hit, I gotta hit, tra uh, engine, stop engine off. There we go. So now, once I jump out of it, perfect. There we go. Now it'll stay. Oh man, we were so close to getting this on. Hold on. Let me mess with the one thing. Shoot. Okay, I gotta fire this up quick and scooch it up. What's that sound? Oh, we put the same sound that was in the, the... Oh, shoot. Can we not get up here a little bit? There we go. Okay, nice. Now, I'll fold up the ramps just a little bit. Good. Okay, we should be good to go, I'm thinking. Please don't tell me it just keeps folding. Okay, we're good. Nice. Can I lock the load? Oh, there we go. Wait. There we go. We got the load locked. Okay, now this is not your... Oh, dude, the comments, man. I really want to get one of these in real life. You know, guys, I have an F-150 right now, but dude, it'd be sweet to just get an old diesel truck. I always said I was going to get a new diesel truck in a couple of years, but man, it'd be sweet to just get an old one and just daily drive my F-150. Oh man, this is sweet. The comments, dude. Oh, this mod is amazing, dude. You guys got to get this. I'll, I'll link you guys to Nomad Wolf's page. I won't give you the link directly because you should probably go check out uh, Nomad Wolf's page a little bit before. Okay. 
The first gen. There we go. It's got like amazing power. It rolls a little coal. Perfect amount of coal. It's just rolling off the back. Nothing crazy, you know. Not gonna scare too many Prius owners, but just a perfect amount. It's a little. It's not even true black. It's like kind of grayish a little bit too. Okay, we'll pull in here and we'll unload these things. There we go. I always call them things. The muscle cars. There we go. For now, we'll leave them. Okay, I agree with the last one. What was the last one? Was it the Nova? I think it was the Nova. I think it was the Chevy Nova over here. What was the last one? Yep. We're, okay, we'll drive this baby back. And then I still have to get the lowered Chevy. The, the airbag Chevy over there. I still have yet to get that over there. Okay, so we got to really make storage real nice. And this probably drifts like crazy, too. Oh, oh, you guys see that? See, I told you she kind of drifts a little bit. It's kind of tough to get it perfectly. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Grower. Oh, man. Okay, I drift too far. Dude, okay, the Nova, I'd say, has probably more power than the Hot Rod, it seems like. We'll drift in here. Oh, 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 man. Almost hit that. Okay, dude, I, I could sit in the, the first-person view all the time and just drift, dude. We'll throw it around the corners, baby. Oh, smooth. Smooth. Let's hit this drift. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, okay, we hit a pole. We definitely hit a pole, but we went through it. Dude, I love drifting the farm sim. It feels like you can kind of control it pretty good. Oh, that was a smooth turn. That was a real smooth turn. Now, these aren't sports cars. I don't know why I'm going so fast. Something that's not even made to... Oh, shoot. <laughs> you can control it, too. Watch this. Okay, we'll do it third person. Oh, man, I overdid it. I overdid it. We'll, we'll hit this turn here. I want to hit one perfect. Oh, shoot. Okay, that was hat. That was bad. That was bad. That was real bad. We'll drift into the Wendy's drive-thru over here. Maybe not. We'll take a left here. Oh, dude, I overdo it. I overdo it. I feel like when I do first person, though, I get her down pretty good. There's a John Deere uh, dealership right there. We bought a MOA and we bought a 7R or 6R over there. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. Okay, last, last one. Hit it. Hit it, squad. Oh, we overcorrected a little too much. Okay, we're good, though. Okay, we're going to put this away here. I'm going to drive in the entrance. I won't cut through the grass there. There we go, the Nova. <laughs> oh, dude, it just has so much power. So much torque behind the wheels. Okay, we'll put, uh, put it right up next to the hot rod. I'm thinking the Nova should go black, though. What are you guys thinking? I think we got to keep the Nova black. And then we'll get these. Okay. We'll unload these right now. Dude, honestly, this Cummins is just, like, this is nice. We got a nice setup going right here. Definitely. Okay, and then, oh, that's right, that's right. The other thing we need to do is, I could take the Cummins to go pick it up, but we need to go pick up, yeah, you know what? I'll, ju I'll just take the guy's truck. We'll do that real quick. We need to go pick up that guy's dump trailer, because I just had, uh, I couldn't do it myself. I couldn't work on the dump trailer to get wood on it. The guy wanted wood on his dump trailer. If you guys remember that other video, where I customized this truck because it was broken, and he wanted his dump trailer customized a little bit, and so I couldn't do it, so I took it to a woodworking guy. So we're gonna go pick that up quick, get it ready for him. So hopefully he comes and picks up his truck and trailer soon. So this is actually a customer's truck. Maybe I should take my own truck over there instead of his. It's fine. The Chevy 45 iron, dude. This is a sweet truck, dude. It's a big puller. It's a puller. Definitely. Okay, we'll take a left here. You guys know where it's in where it's at, actually. It's just at the shop right over there. Take a left and go pick up his dump trailer quick, and then he's got to come get this, man. I keep keeping in storage right now, but he's gonna come. He's gonna come grab this. Oh, we gotta grab our Pete yet too. That's right. Got a lot of work. Yeah, dude. Okay, so a lot of you guys were like, "Squad, you should, you should really get it to where customers start coming to the shop and stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, dude, that would be sweet." So right now, this map can only be used in career because for some reason it's not zipped, so it won't work in multiplayer. But I do want to get uh, I want to get this working in multiplayer, so that way we can have some customers show up and actually buy some stuff at Rolling Gold Customs. Okay. Oh man, that's a little off there, but it's fine. Dude, the 40 iron can easily pull this dumb trailer. Okay, we'll take a left. Nice. And then, okay, so maybe I'll just leave this out so the customer can come pick it up. Like if he wants to come pick it up tonight after store hours. And we'll just hand him his keys and stuff. Even if we're not here, we can just keep it in the drop box. There we go. We'll take a right. Man, I keep rolling through stop signs all the time. Okay, we got to organize all these cars and stuff too. Set up for a car show. Do you guys? What are you guys thinking? Car show? Car show? I'm glad I'm thinking car show. Car show would be sweet. Okay. 
We'll pull in here. There we go. Where should I put this? We could maybe put it in the back for now. I have like all my trailers in the back. So we can keep his truck ready to go for him in the back. I'll, uh, here's what I'll do. I'll just put it, I'll just line it right up here. There we go. We'll back all the way to the shed over here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Start turning. Start turning. There we go. Back her in all the way over here. And then we should be, we should be good. Oh man, don't go through the garage door. There you go, perfect. Okay, so he can come pick up his Chevy. His Chevy's ready. Dude, you guys should have seen what it looked like before. I think you guys saw it before. Like, literally didn't have anything back here for a bed at all. It was just a gooseneck hitch, that's it. Um, And then nothing was chrome. Nothing at all was chrome. This dump truck was completely black. We put some wood side panels. And we put a wood topper so he can hold a little, a little more material in there. So that should work good. Oh, we should shut this door. And then let's get all this stuff unloaded over here. I, I'm waiting, dude. I can't wait for the video when we actually have a customer. Oh, that's going to be sweet. Maybe I should roll it tonight because Gavin said that this... Okay, by the way, I mowed the grass so everything looks amazing right now. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. Like The grass uh, the grass makes everything just look so nice. But as I roll the clock, the grass is going to grow back real soon. Is it already starting to grow back? I think it is. It's going to grow back real soon here. And it's not going to look as good. But I want to show you guys... I want to show you guys nighttime. It's time to drive the pee back. Now, unfortunately, oh my gosh. The underglow is insane when it gets dark out. Look at it already, dude. It's going to be insane. Now, we'll see if my signs lit up outside. I want to see this lit up. I think there might have to be like a button you have to press um, out there to get it lit, you know? So, we are going to... Okay, fold in these ramps real quick. Oh, man. I got to get this smooth so it looks realistic, actually. You can kind of see the ramps back there, can you? A little bit. There we go. A little razor. Nice. Okay. We should be good. Rocking on down here with the Pete. And dude, oh my gosh, Underglow just looks amazing on this Pete. Dude, the Underglow is so strong on the trailer too. Like under the Pete, it's decent, but the trailer, oh my gosh. The underglow is insane on this. There we go. So we'll pull over here. Dude, please have my, oh, I don't think my sign's lit up yet. Oh, it's not. But maybe if it gets really pitch black, it might be, might be lit up eventually. Dude, I cannot see with this tint at all out the side of windows. Turn on our lights. There must there must be a button you have to press. Oh, well, street lights came on. Oh, this should really go on real soon here. That'd be sweet if it does. Okay, we'll pull through here. Dude, we have so much stuff right now. It's, it's tough, guys. I wonder if there's a light switch. There's a light switch in the building or something that lights it up. Um, Anything over here? No, no, no. Anything in the building? Man, I really want to get this thing uh, lit up. Okay, we'll open the door. Wait, toggle light. Okay, now that's still not lit up. I know. I remember Gavin saying it lights up. The light switches anywhere. Is this a switch? Is this a switch? Did that do it? Oh, it's lit up. It's lit up. No way, dude. I think did that actually do it? Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't believe, dude. I didn't. Wait, no, it's not lit up. Oh man, is it lit up? Ah, it's not. I thought maybe that would do it. That had to have been a light switch though, right there. Maybe they just didn't hit it properly. Nah, okay, it didn't do anything. Is there, maybe it's in my office. There could be something in my office. Maybe I want to get that sign lit up. That'd be cool if we could. Um, Open door. Is it? Okay, that was a light from in here. Come on, maybe there's a big button on my desk or somewhere, somewhere. Oh, uh, I remember Gavin telling me there's a light somewhere, a light switch somewhere to li light this thing up. Where is it up there? You think it's up there? Man, maybe it's, uh, I thought for sure it'd be like, oh, oh my gosh. I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Okay. Oh, it's only one, one thing, but dude, that's sweet. What else can we activate and stuff? I want to get this. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's moving. It's not lining up. Shoot, maybe you gotta climb up there? You think I gotta climb up there and get that thing lit? Oh man, okay, I guess, I don't know. I really, really want to get that sign uh, lit up, but I guess we won't be able to. And then we got the, oh, we got, okay, now it's completely pitch black, 1 a.m. Oh, look at that. Oh shoot, I gotta be in it, that's right. Look at the underglow on the feet. Okay, so, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the cars. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I, ha I will have all the mods down below in case you guys, uh, 
these guys want to get the mods. I guess I'll have all, all the mod links to Expendables mod. You gotta go in there, and then they pretty much have all these mods. Check out Expendables modding, guys. I will see you boys later. Thanks for watching, guys.